because this is a business discussion about WordPress, I'm not going to be aiming at the pre blog um, end of the market. Um, I don't think people are using this tool for an expression of yourself and stuff like that, which is great using free tools, but because this is a business group, I believe uh, I'm going to be talking about a lot of paid plugins because uh, in business you do your website to be up and functional in six months' time, you are safe going with a paid option rather than a free option because there's no incentive for the uh, creator of that plugin being function functionality to continue delivering free um, services. So uh, one thing I want to touch on before getting to the, the functionality are the themes. Um, I don't know, how many pieces being people in the room. There's one. No? Okay. Um, each one of the premium themes gets the most publicity from my experience and it's not one that, that I recommend. Um, you'll find it as soon as you start getting the premium themes that's going to come up in the second was well supported by the um, Good marketing campaign at the front. Um, it's tending to lose ground at the moment and the other things that I would suggest if you're looking at a premium theme to save you some design time and not get a fully customised theme which is uh, still a good option. There we go. Uh, we've got the studio press. I think it's going to be the market leader in that field um, very soon. It, I'm not going to ProBlogger. Anyone here the ProBlogger? Uh, they've just taken people like ProBlogger, Poppy Blogger, Finch Brogan as <coughs> partners in that particular thing. But it's getting a huge uh, drive at the moment. It's, uh, it comes with a core uh, theme and you have what's called child themes which attach to it. So you can change the, the, the look and the, the core functionality is a bit consistent. Uh, they're about $60 per theme. So the other themes there, which um, this presentation is just on my, on my website um, under the blog section. It's the first, the latest post, um, which you're all welcome to obviously access um, after this uh, presentation. Uh, Word Themes is another good, another good theme, which has a huge backing from WordPress as well. They use part of its menu structure in the core of WordPress, which anyone who's new, very new to WordPress is development but it's a good theme. Press 75 is an excellent theme for using video, a lot of video. They uh, just have some fantastic looking themes out of the box for presenting video really well. And some uh, imagery as well, it's on motion photography and, and images, which I'll, I'll answer the question question later. Uh, and elegant themes. Elegant themes is another really great thing. Uh, <coughs>
it has assumptions where if you are making general inquiry and you click on a, an item which requires a completely different set of questions to be answered, it will actually reveal those particular questions based on the context of the original um, selection that you've made. It's just a really smart plugin. Um, there is an extra cost if you want to integrate with MailChimp, which I'll kind of touch on a bit later. MailChimp's a newsletter um, edition. Um, Smart 404 I've thrown in there, it's, it's a bit of an odd one out of that batch actually. Smart 404 uh, redirects people who have typed in a, a link, uh, or got a link that they've clicked on that was meant to go to a post and it arrived at the website and that post has changed its name. And the reason I bring it up in this group with people that are really new to WordPress is when you install WordPress, its default uh, permalink structure, which is the, the, the link created by when you write a post, is terrible. It's very, you know, P's, question marks, slash, and a number, something really awful. And I always recommend you change that as soon as possible. But there's, there's a chance that you've already written some posts using that structure already and you don't want those to get, if people started connecting to them, you don't want those to get lost. This will pick up the links that have been shown, you've decided to change your link structure um, and divert them through your posts as well. Uh, backup Buddy. I don't know how important backup is to you guys, but backup is essential for me. We've got this laptop which could go at any moment, the, <laughs> the power could crash at any moment. So I've got handwritten notes of the presentation, I've got it on my phone. I mean, backups are so essential, I think, to business. Um, so there's a few backup, free backup options around, and a lot of them do backups on your database, which is just the con raw content of the website. This plugin, paint plugin, will do a complete backup of this site. It can email a copy of it to you on a monthly basis, or a daily basis, or a weekly basis. You can back up the content as well separately. It's, it backs up the content and the, all the other program, all the other files that make it, <coughs> the work that go together. But it can be completely automated. This is being, being a social media <coughs> event. Uh, Twitter and Facebook are important. So Twitter Billings is the, from my experience, the, the most reliable and most feature-rich plugin to access WordPress. If you can have a sidebar, a sidebar with your, your Twitter image, you can control all the colours of the, the way the environment that displays the, the tweets are displayed. You can put a search there if you want to search for your particular uh, product and put any, any information that's coming through Twitter on that product. You can have that in the sidebar. It's also got the new uh, Twitter retweet, official Twitter retweet button that's recently come out. Built in, so it's kind of like two for one in that respect. A uh, simple Facebook share button is along the same lines, but it's not really, it's, it's just a nice looking uh, uh, Facebook button or icon that you, you can have so people can uh, like your posts or pages it's back to the Facebook so you can have a cross promotion that Facebook's obviously going to give you, you know, um, it, unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, if you're a Facebook uh, fan, uh, Facebook's here to stay, so we have to embrace it and use, use it as, as a tool, a business tool. <coughs> uh, and the Kismet is a funny one. It's automatically installed with every single WordPress installation, and I would say not activated 80% of the time. People that I've experienced. Uh, it takes an extra step. You've got to go to WordPress. Dot com, create a login there and get an API code, code off that account, come back in and, and enter that figure into this plugin, and off it goes. Then it reduces your spam by maybe 80%. Any spam. Okay. <laughs> um, how many people have got uh, a couple of hundred spam comments sitting in there? WordPress site right now. Yeah, there's a few. Very common. And hopefully we can eliminate those with a few practices. Email 
putting email addresses on the website, and look, some people, even if I say it's on Google Facebook, still want to do it, and that's fine. Uh, it's a precaution. I know people have had websites with uh, email addresses that had no issue, but as a precaution against spam, <coughs> it's something you can kind of with at all costs. Don't use an email, uh, don't put your email address on the site. The contact form for me works great because as soon as I reply to that, email, that contact form, they've got, the person's got my email. And if you have to change email addresses at any point, you know, if it goes from admin to sale to, to other names, you can, uh, it'll be seamless and I will give a notice. But if you've got, if, you, if you're using a Hotmail or a Gmail account, and it's your primary uh, email account, a contact form just puts a professional edge over the experience. So you just don't need to, you don't need to know really what sort of email address you've got. How it looks. Uh, bad behaviour is a plugin which intercepts based on the way a comment was written and how quickly follow-up comments were sent after it and various other features that will intercept comments before they get to your comment box and you don't even have to sort them out. They're caught before they do any damage. And intense debate, which is another plugin that was strange link there actually. Uh, it has debate anyway. It is actually uh, a plugin made by the creators of WordPress, which is free, and it provides the best comment. Well, this is for comments that people have left after you've written a post, not necessarily a contact form or a contact page, uh, but they're leaving comments. And it, it has things like Twitter functionality, so they can tweet what they've written, and it also, because it's it goes back to the mothership, really. The guys behind WordPress, it will also eliminate. Uh, I get the spam. I, with these with these uh, items in place, I just don't get the spam. I can't remember the last time I got a spam uh, email or comment. Thank <laughs> you. 